Hi, you're listening to the Choose Joy podcast, and I'm Tisa, your host. Here at Choose Joy, I pray for you, and we watch God work. Let's pray. Today's prayer is that the Lord will give you a great sense of calm. I pray that you find a new normalcy for you and your loved ones today. Set your focus on opportunities available to you right now, rather than those you feel like you missed. I pray that you don't get stuck on one thing, but that your faith moves you forward. That you follow the steps that God has ordered, expecting that great things are in store for you. I believe that is the type of faith necessary to stand through trials. Because your faith is in God, you can have peace in times of storms. Because your faith is in the Lord, your hope is full of possibilities that God can move heaven and earth. And because you know that you have grace through Jesus, you will always have calm in your life. It is my prayer for you today that you look to the Lord when all others are looking around. Only God can give you that perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. You have a new opportunity right now to choose joy. So today, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. If you believe and agree, say amen, because all things are possible with God. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me here today at Choose Joy with Tisa. The lessons found in our verses today from Luke, the 8th chapter, verses 22 through 25, are plentiful. There is a lesson of following Jesus even to the other side. There is the lesson that storms will come up even when you are with the Lord. There is also the lesson of fear over faith. There is the lesson of the power the Lord has over everything, even the wind and water. But my favorite lesson from these verses, and the one that I want to leave you with today, is this. When the disciples thought they were perishing, when they were scared and confused, they knew to go to the Lord, and he saved them. I don't believe that we can expect to go through this life without getting tossed and turned at some point, but because we place our trust in God, he is faithful to meet us even at our darkest hour. The boat was still full of water, but Jesus gave them a great calm. That's good news today and should fill you with hope and joy, knowing that our God is faithful. I hope that you will join me for tomorrow's prayer. And if today's prayer was for you, let me know by leaving me a comment at tisajones.com. Until the next time, I pray that you choose joy. Amen.